Hi to everyone from Diorama Devil. Some time ago, Gianpaolo, a friend of mine and owner of Scientific Models, called me and asked me if I could do some tutorials for his clients. I said why not? And here we are with the general presentation and informations for Starbond Cyanocrylate glues. So, here we have them. It's not the whole range, but I think that those four are more than enough even for a very demanding user. We have thick, medium, thin and black medium, which we will call black from now on. As you figured out, the names mostly refer to the viscosity of the glue. The black one has some rubber particles in it to make a stronger elastic bond and you can glue rubbery parts that the other tree doesn't bite at all. Here you can see how the glue came from the box. You have the glue, the nozzle, some tin nozzles and the red cover. Let's prepare our glue for use. Make a straight cut to open the nozzle and put the nozzle back on the glue. The red hover has a needle in it and you should use this to cover the glue when it's not in use. So this is it. I put all four glues on a test tray so we can see how they behave straight from the bottle. I will let the other tray sitting in the corner for an hour or so and we will see what will happen at the end of the video. So, thick is very dense, like a gel, and thin is almost like water. Medium is a sweet spot between, and black is dense like medium. Now I will cover them with pieces of paper towel to get you an idea how they behave. We will use the black one because we can see it better, but this refers to all types of glue. You can use the glue straight from the bottle for big applications. Then you can put the small nozzle on for smaller applications. For an even more precise application, you should take the glue from a tray with a special tool. A very important thing. I use simple masking tape for the tray. Or even better, you should use the back of a simple sticker that I took from my daughter. This way the glue will remain usable for a very long time. For the application tool, don't use metallic parts like needles or wires. Here you can see my homemade applicators. Those are parts of spruce, extended over a candle and glued to the cocktail stick. When you are done, simply cut away the part with the glue on. When you're done with gluing, you can see how the glue retracts by itself almost immediately. So, you can leave your glue like this on your table for days. If you're not so sure, you can cover it with the red cover. I have them like this in the drawer, no fridge storage needed. You can also put your nozzles in acetone when you see that some dried glue is building up. Put everything in acetone. Close the glue with the original cover. In a few hours they will be like new. You can apply those rules for every CA glue out in the market. Next time we will look at different uses for every specific glue. If you are looking for a top quality professional range of CA glues, I can strongly recommend Starbond. Down in the descriptions you can find the link to Scientific Models shop. They have amazing figures, busts and lot of professional equipment like glues, bodies and other stuff. If you use the code DIORAMADEVIL, both D are big, you will have a special 10% discount only for Diorama Devil followers. Oh, I almost forgot our one hour test. Well, a good hour and a half passed by and now we will repeat the test with the paper towel. As you can see, the glue is still perfectly workable. Nice! A big thanks to Gianpaolo and Scientific Models for the opportunity. Stay tuned!